Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be seeing how much I can crochet within one day slash kind of just to crochet with me throughout one full day of crocheting. So as you guys might know if you've watched some of my other videos, I do have a market coming up in less than a week as you guys are seeing this video and I have been doing a lot of crocheting. Pretty much all of my days recently have been crocheting throughout the whole entire day. So I decided to film one day for you guys to see how much I ended up doing in one day. And of course, that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So just so you guys know, all of the patterns that I ended up using for this video are completely free and all the yarns and hooks all of those details will be linked in the description box below for you guys in the order that I made everything so that it is super easy for you to find it because I really like all of these patterns that I ended up using. So if you liked anything that I made in this video too, then obviously go ahead and check those links below. But with that, let's just get straight on to this video. Alrighty y'all, I am starting my day of crocheting and it's already two o'clock but um my sleep schedule is a little messed up so don't mind that but i am starting this new little frog pattern and like i said in the intro all of the patterns and everything will be linked below but this is the first thing i'm working on today All right, y'all, I've been working on this for a little bit and I have the little white patch on the belly done. So I'm just doing decreasing rounds now. All right, before I actually close this up, I'm gonna put the eyes on and stuff it and everything, of course. And I'm also gonna make the little mouth and then that will be this. All right, y'all, here's this little guy done. So I'm now gonna move on to the next project. But as of right now, I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be. So I will come back to you when I've decided. Alrighty, y'all, I've decided to start this little baby penguin pattern. So this is what I'm gonna be working on for the next little while. Alright y'all, I took a little break to eat dinner and I am back to working now. So I am just doing decreasing rounds and then I have two little fins to make and then this project will be done. Alrighty y'all, we have this little baby penguin done. So I'm gonna move on to my next project, which again, I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna be. So I'm gonna look through all my patterns that I have saved and my yarns and just see what I start next. All right y'all, I took a little bit of a break and now I'm going to be making another one of these. I made this little guy yesterday and I'm gonna make another one of these. My mom, my sister and I are about to all just go in the living room and watch some TV so I'm not going to record anything but this is what I'll be working on and I'll probably finish it because we have two episodes left of the show we're watching so I will probably finish this maybe even two within that time but I'll update y'all afterward. All right y'all so I ended up making these two mini mushrooms in the time that we were watching TV. We actually finished the two episodes of the one show we were watching and started another one. So this is what I got done. 
as well as I have started a little strawberry so this is what it's looking like and right now I'm about to make the leaves for it and then I'm going to embroider the little seeds and then stuff it and close it up so it shouldn't be too much longer until it's done so I am starting this part now Alrighty y'all, here is my little strawberry, which it's so tiny, but here it is. So I'm thinking about actually making this again, just with some bigger yarn, so maybe velvet or blanket and a bigger hook. I'm not exactly sure yet, but this really small size is really cute as well. And I'm now about to figure out what project I'm starting next. Alrighty, you guys, I am starting a little dinosaur now because my hand is actually really hurting from using such a small hook and small yarn pretty much all day. So I am starting this now. I'm not sure if I will finish it tonight or not. We will see, but I am starting this so, of course, I will keep y'all updated on how far I get. Alright, you guys, I have some pretty good progress on the head and the body here. And after this row, I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm gonna come back to this. Alright you guys, this is what I have of my little dinosaur which obviously doesn't look too much like a dinosaur yet. It still needs spikes and the legs i did make the legs so they're just going to be sewn on like this pretty much and the tail will be back here once i make that and all of the spikes but that is going to be it for this video because i'm about to head to bed tomorrow is a thursday so i have to film an edit for you guys for a yarn sale video and yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video and seeing everything that i was able to make within one day all right you guys i hope you enjoyed seeing everything i made so i am just going to do a little recap here at the end of this video so we're going to go in order of everything i made so first we have this little frog which i don't know why you guys but on camera it literally will not show this green color but just know it is like a bright green color and this is with velvet yarn from Hobby Lobby. And this pattern is just super cute, little chunky frog. So this was the first thing I made, of course, as you guys saw in the video. Next, I made this little penguin, which is another small project. All of these were fairly small projects. And this is a really cute one. So again, all the yarns and everything is gonna be linked below but this was the second thing i made next we have two little small mushrooms so this pattern specifically that i used for these is a little bit different but i just alter it a bit so like the pattern has little arms and legs i personally don't make that part as well as the pattern is made with felt and i just use little pieces of yarn and a yarn needle to do the little spots on the top of the head. I've also crocheted little circles and sewn them on. Either way works, but this I found to be much quicker. So that's what I did for these guys. And then I also did this little strawberry as you guys saw throughout this video. And I did kind of the same idea with the little spots. So that is this little guy. And finally, you guys, is the dinosaur. I'm filming this about a day later. So it is finished, but I'm going to go ahead and show you just because I figured you might want to see the final product anyway. So this is what this little dinosaur looks like. Again, my camera's having a hard time picking up this color, but this is just baby blue 
and then we have green for the little spikes but when you guys saw it at the end of me crocheting within one day it was just the body and the little arms I did I, I can't remember if I had the nose done or not but you guys saw what it looked like I showed you but this is the final product so that is everything I ended up crocheting almost finished this but this wasn't finished but everything else I did manage to make within one day which you guys I have to tell you my hands hurt super bad because not only the day that I filmed this video I crocheted for basically the whole entire day I also did the next day which is the day that I'm filming this intro and outro and oh my goodness my hands hurt so bad because I've also done a bunch of crocheting today but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I ended up making within one day. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of everything I ended up making. And if you want to make any of these patterns, I personally love all of these patterns. I've made this like a bazillion times and all of the other projects. It was my first time using the patterns, but I absolutely love them as well. So I'd love to hear if you guys are going to make any of these or just what you thought of all of my creations in general. If you guys do want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, my vlog channel, and all of my social medias. All of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys here on Sunday with another yarn sale update as well as on Monday with another regular video. Goodbye!